Have you ever thought about how a cruise ship is built? How on earth can an engineer, a human being like us, construct such a magnificent refreshment ship? What is a cruise ship? A cruise ship is a luxurious large vessel that takes passengers on a recreational trip. The prime purpose of the cruise ship is to take passengers on a round trip to different destinations. Moreover, the cruise ship brings passengers back to the original port, making it different from a passenger ship, which serves as a transportation means for passengers from one place to the other. How is a cruise ship built? Specialized shipbuilders assemble huge pieces of a cruise ship. It takes 12 to 18 months to build a cruise ship from scratch to a stage when it's ready to be pushed into the water for sailing. Computer-aided designs and modular cabins also speed up the process. Mostly aluminum, other lightweight metals, and high-strength steel are used to make the central part of a ship for keeping the center of mass low. A cruise ship's top is heavy with engines, fuel tanks, and propellers located in the lower part. The cruise ship's top is heavy and the center is lightweight, but overall weight is evenly balanced throughout the ship's structure. Carbon fibers and fibers reinforced plastic is also mixed with other materials for reducing mass. First of all, a watertight hull is built on dry land. After that, other superstructures are mounted on top of the hull. All cabins of a cruise ship are separately constructed on a site, much like an automobile factory. Then, fully furnished cabins are transported to the shipyard where all are welded together to form a large vessel using magnetic forces. Afterward, interior designers and artists are employed to make the ship look like a high-end resort. The cost of building a cruise ship varies with the size and facilities available in it, ranging from $550 million to $1 billion. Commonly, well-equipped cruise ships cost over $1 billion, while an average-sized cruise ship costs around $550 million. The inside of a cruise ship is highly sophisticated, having elite dining services, casinos, restaurants, shops, internet cafes, gym and fitness centers, swimming pools, clubs, lounges, spas, cinemas, libraries, childcare, and Broadway shows. How does a cruise ship work? The center of gravity should be as low as possible, so engines are mounted at the lowest part of the ship. These lowest parts consist of machinery having small compartments for safety purposes. For instance, one chamber may contain main engines, while the second compartment can have an air conditioning system. In diesel vessels, main engines are connected to the propeller shaft. On the other hand, in diesel electric ships, these engines are in connection with main generators. The electricity generated helps propulsion motors to turn the propellers to keep the cruise ship moving. Generally, fuel ignition creates pressure. This pressure moves the piston up and down, turning the crankshaft connected to the propeller shaft. Mostly, shipbuilders connect engines and propellers through gears, which keep the crankshaft moving at a faster speed. Unlike diesel engines, in diesel electric propulsion, main engines are directly connected to large generators for electricity used by motors to turn propellers. The main advantage of this propulsion system is high engine efficiency, which helps ships to flow smoothly. So this is how cruise ships work, and the total employees in cruise ship industry in the United States are estimated to be 178.1 thousand. The starting average cost of a cruise ship is around $79 per person for one day. You can avail some of the inside cruise ship's facilities for free, but not all of them. Cruising can be the best option when you want to have a good traveling experience and luxurious vacation.